twelve. Can I have? I have no. Sure. I have Please, no. Can I have? Check, check this out. I check. have no money, but please. The new, the new V12, the Dolce Cilindri. I don't know how to say it. It's eight inches wider than the A12, Dylan. It's a whole. <laughs> <laughs> This if I can get the V12. Please give me a V12. Yo, Dylan, this is sick. I don't know why you don't like it. Look at the carbon doors, bro. It's, it's cool, but it's not. How much is this? It is a hundred thousand dollars more than the 750. Exactly. Yeah, but it's not going to depreciate as fast as the 750. This thing, just remember, this thing is half a million dollars. Look at it, dude. It's it's not half a million dollars, bro. All right, you want to know the best part about this car? Here. This is the trump card over any McLaren. Ferrari financing. Yeah. It doesn't go on your credit. That's fair. This is just not a half million dollar car, though. Yes, it is. No, it's not. Look at it. Exactly. And the 750, if you just saw a 750 over there, well, it's 200,000 dollars cheaper. My point. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And it looks way better. Mikey, we don't take them out of transport mode where everything is complete because the moment that we take them off transport mode, warranty starts. Oh. So it's kind of what Ferrari does where warranty starts the moment that you pick it up. So the car is still technically in Ooh, front. look at the blue. Look at the blue though. That shot looks good, doesn't it? That's why I've partnered with Faster Media, the company that does all the storytelling here on my channel from the editing to the content post, to the strategy to post to Instagram, TikTok, and all other social media platforms, Faster Media has curated a strategy for me that has allowed me to grow. And now for the very first time, they're offering the same services for companies and people looking to grow their social presence. Anyways, guys, back to the video. Ooh. Oh, wow, Mickey, this is so sick, dude. Congrats. Hey, because mine's not MSO, I couldn't get the carbon paddles. <laughs> Well, This is cool. I gotta, I gotta say. What, the white, the white? Yep. It's the only thing that makes it look drastically different than a 720, in my opinion. Because down there, people have said this is ugly. It's not. It looks really nice, but it's not drastically different enough for you to notice. It looks more spacious. <laughs> it does. And so you guys know I'm trading the 458 and 4RS for it. So that's gonna trigger a lot of you in the comments. But I've driven this. It's crazy. Actually, the white, the white's really nice. Pop it over. I bet you I could have gotten regular white, it would have looked 95% the same as say 12 G's. Probably. No, I wanted a... Uh... Wow. Well, this is this this is the homage to the 60th anniversary. Come here, we've got the 60th anniversary here. I had gotten the steering wheel, but they took it off because of supply chain issues. Obviously the color is well, one of the 60th anniversary colors. We have this in orange and a gray. And then it's got the plaque if you get a certain number of options. But you can only get that numbered if I would have gotten stripes. Yeah. So if I would have gotten the stripes, it would have been one of 60. 
but I think there's probably going to be about a 160th anniversary car. And we'll do a full spec overview in another video, but I didn't get carbon everywhere on top because these cars come standard with black instead of the 765's palladium, which is ugly. And I got the carbon wing. I think carbon pack two, carbon pack one and two, and the wing in carbon. Wow. Let's sit inside real quick. So yeah, obviously carbon sills. And the first thing you notice about the 750 versus 765 is how much better put together it is. Like in the 765, on the seats especially, you have like these weird edges around the bucket. And then where everything came together, it was a lot more run. Obviously that's the ethos of the car because it's carbon and, it's, and it vibrates like a vibrator. But this car is a lot better put together. But you still get that 765 fizz when you turn it into sport or, or track. Notice? The car is like the lift is up and I can't put the top down because it's in transport mode. Until I pay, it doesn't come out of transport mode. And it sounds really good. Got some disappointing news for you guys. I had to skip on the car you just watched an eight minute video on. I'm sorry for wasting your time. Car is not coming to the channel because two days after I went and looked at my car, I was about to wire the money. Uh, the house of my dreams came up for sale here in my neighborhood and it was serendipitous. A sign was placed in front of the house literally two days after. I, I think I saw that car on a Friday. This was a Sunday and I'm under contract with that house. So couldn't really afford to buy the house and a $426,000 supercar. So we're skipping the McLaren. And I just want to say, guys, I feel bittersweet. You guys know when I sold the 765, I regretted that decision. I should have kept that car, bought this, and that should have been my garage today. So at this point, I'm McLaren less. But I want to say shout out to McLaren for getting me unbanned to be able to buy this car. It was a journey to be able to order it, spec it, and get unbanned from McLaren. McLaren North America, shout out to you. Guillermo at the collection, shout out to you. It was fun in the moment because I, was thought, I thought I was taking it home, but I'm not. But instead I'm getting a new house and I've bought a new daily driver, which I think you're gonna be shocked with. Stay tuned for the next video where we talk about that. And hopefully you guys like the spec and someone here in Miami is gonna really enjoy taking that car home. Nonetheless, go down below, comment, let me know your thoughts, let me know if you're disappointed or you're happy. You're probably disappointed, you're like, fuck you, Mickey. That's okay, I love you too, guys. Anyways, I look forward to seeing you next video. Take care. Peace.